I just want to wrap up with the implementation of the smoking ban. Uh, how do you feel about the way it's being implemented and do you feel that students' opinions were uh, heard enough on the subject? Well, I know that there's been a lot of dissatisfaction with how students' uh, opinions were factored in. Uh, let, me, let me speak more broadly to that mm -hmm. issue. The reality is what's right is right. And we know that there is a direct correlation between smoking and cancer. And uh, we know that the university has to have, has to stand for something. And so we know that health is critical uh, for uh, students, for our faculty, for our professional staff. Therefore, we draw the line and say that in order to have a healthy environment, uh, we believe that smoking or, and, 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 and uh, other products related to tobacco uh, are that there's no place for them on this campus. So we know that there's uh, that students wanted more input. Overall, I look at the overall input that students have and how we make our decisions at FIU. For instance, if you take the design charrette that we've been doing, if you take the issue of uh, how we utilize our technology fees, and I'm I'm satisfied that we're making significant progress uh, in, in 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 involving students in decision making at the university. I think the design charrette is a perfect example. We just made it, we're on the cusp of making an announcement about, you know, students have made some suggestions through really great plans about how we can begin to modify this campus. And guess what, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna invest some money. So I think overall, if we look at the balance, um, I think we can see that uh, students have a very strong voice at FIU. But the issue of health, <laughs> the issue of tobacco, smokeless products, Let's call it what it is, and let's deal with it. And that's what this university is doing. For those students who, who do smoke, and will probably continue to do so even with uh, the ban, what is the university uh, planning on doing you know, in terms of helping them? Yes. You know, to like help, help them quit and stuff? Well, like first that. of all, I mean, we're sensitive to the fact that uh, this addiction, because that's what it is, is, uh, is very difficult to break. And we are going to help our students who want to break this addiction, and our staff, by the way, at our faculty, we have support mechanisms to help them uh, get off of this addiction. Uh, we're going to emphasize the positive here. We're not going to highlight, we're not going to call out uh, those individuals. We're going to try to help them if they want help. If they don't want help, we, we regret that. But, but we're here, we're going to stand with them too. So, so what we're doing is emphasizing the positive. I have a quick follow-up question. Oh, okay, George. That. Um, the the, the, the statistics for the smoking ban say that there's roughly, I think, like 4.2%, rounding up to 5% of students on campus that, that do smoke, according to the survey that you guys took. Um, the 5% the of my experience of reporting on the subject seems to be in housing. What if these students say, you know, we, we don't want to stop smoking? This is, you know, this is our, and, and they refer to, say, the rules that they had where the ashtrays or the smoking areas need to be 20 feet away from the buildings. Yeah. I've walked around and I've seen the ashtrays actually adjacent to the buildings. Why hasn't the university enforced that rule? Well, because in the first instance, we're, it's a gradual implementation. <laughs> we recognize that, that, that this transition could be very difficult for those 5%, but we're worried about the 95% and the impact on them on secondary smoke. So I think it's a good question, um, and uh, the transition is gradual. Uh, clearly, so the the smoking areas will be transit will be start will start. Well, I think the smoking areas area generally the smoking areas are going to be eliminated across mm -hmm. time, and so uh, we, but but again, we're going to work with that five percent. Mm -hmm. The university will as it has policies. Will every policy has an implementation, and uh, this policy will be no different than than the other policies that we have, um, but we're we're drawing the line. And that's, I mean, that's, I mean, let's call it what it is. It's an addiction, and it's an addiction we can deal with. We, and as a university with values, uh, we're making a statement here. I wonder if, if you'd like to make a, a sort of a wrap-up comment to students, specifically talking to students about, sure. you know, the year to come and what they should be thinking about. Well, clearly, I mean, what we want our students to think about is getting the classes that they need in graduating. Uh, it's, we, we recognize the fact that students have high expectations for us at FIU, and we set high expectations for our faculty, for our administrators, for, for all the events 
uh, for our facilities. We're, we're, we're interested in a quality experience for, for everybody who comes onto the campus. But most importantly, we know, we recognize that students are here to get an education, to have opportunities to excel when they graduate, uh, to learn lessons in the classroom and out of the classroom. And I'm very excited about what we're able to offer here at FIU. There's an incredible value, there's an incredible quality, there's an incredible pride that we have in this institution that I see radiating out from our students uh, continually that, and an enthusiasm that our faculty have for, for what they do that I think is very, very healthy and very beneficial, not just for our university community, but for the entire broader community as well. So this is going to be a good year. This is going to be a year that, uh, that we get more pride in our institution in, in the blue and gold. We get more pride in the accomplishments of, of our students and we celebrate their, their worlds ahead approach uh, to, to being here at FIU and in the community. And this is a year in which uh, we're going to be very proud of the nearly 10,000 students who will graduate uh, between our December, our, our, our spring, and then we're also going to because the number of students graduating is so large, we're actually going to have a summer commencement uh, this year. So I'm focused on making sure that those graduates get the very best educations they can.